Hey guys, this is Captain Pound LP. Welcome to the final episode of Yoshi's Island of El Game. Um, I just wanted to show you the intro here. It shows you how many lives you basically wasted just going through this, but Oh man, this game was this game was especially hard to LP. I do admit it was especially hard to LP. And I do admit it was a pain in the butt. And Alright. So let's go ahead and finish this LP, shall we? We are clear, but we got one more stage to LP. I promised you that I would do World 6-8 for you, and I will deliver. I'm just kind of going to brag about what's perfect and what's not. 1,000 points. As you see in the last episode, we got 1,000 points in this one. So we kind of like, you know, go through them. You know, all complete, so, but if I miss any star points in World 6-8, it's pretty much irrelevant. All I'm going for is, like, star point or, um, red coins and flowers. Those are the primary things. So, without further ado, now, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll show, tell you when I get through here. So, let's just go ahead and start the episode. King Bowser's Castle, 6-8. We have finally arrived. I know this is... I kind of did things out of order, guys. I'm terribly sorry, but this is how I... I kind of like this ending better. The real ending. I probably could have done this at any given time. But, you know... I mean, it's... I think both endings so far that I've seen this... I mean, I... I did it! I mean, I can't believe I'm actually 100%ing this game. After all the crap it has given me the LP it, but, you know. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on, Kamek. There you go, boy. I know, since when is it Kamek is a dog? But whatever the case is. Kamek is still pissed off because I screamed at him and blew up. <laughs> oh, I should have stopped it. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. It, I've got to do this again. I am sorry. I've got to do it again. He was about to say something. I gotta do this. Hold on just a minute. What the heck was he doing? Deep hatred. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. I gotta see that again. I'll see you guys back at the um, 6 8. He was stopping. He was actually stopping. I got to see that. I, I don't think I've ever seen him approach me like that before. But let's do it. I mean, I, I swear, I never have seen that before. I, 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 it caught my attention. He stopped, and it looked like he was about to say something. Get up here. And I paid the price for it. Alright, let's do this again. Come on. We got 306 lives. I don't want to go below 300 now. I want to do this right. Alright. I think they're a little bit generous in this one because I don't... For some reason, I think in a Super Nintendo version, um, they, um, didn't have a ledge there for... <laughs> Damn you fucking idiot. Ugh, I'm trying to finish this game and you're making me pay for it. Alright. Let's just do this. 
There's some eggs at the when we get past this part. I'm kind of interested in what he has to say because it, it, I never saw him do that kind of thing before. At least I don't think I remember. He was actually gonna say he stopped. But except there were text there. Fails continue. I, I did the first time, and now I'm paying the price for it because I stopped. Ah, whatever. Alright. Let's go and get this done and do this right now. Come on. As if I was playing Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, which I will be resuming. I hope that by now I've been resuming it by now because I said this is um, December 5th. I said this week and I'll eventually get back to it. Thank you. Go by me. Alright, go by me. Yeah, thank you. Go by me. Go by me. Go by me. Darling, darling, go by me. Alright, now we're gonna wait. He stopped and he left. Come on, what are you gonna do? Alright, fine. Whatever, we're gone. He just kind of glanced at me and said, Damn, you bastard. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd! Damn you bastard even! Okay, anyway. Alright, this is where... I'm gonna announce... Like, I announced this... I think I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'll go ahead and renounce it again. I am going to put another save state here. And I'm gonna press my keys to do that. Alright. I didn't do it. Oh, F3. There we go. Alright. There are four doors here. Each one has the same number of red coins, the same number of flowers that you have to get. Each one, one's, e of course, one's much easier to do than the other one. I'm going to do all four. I'm going to open all four, so... I'm going to press my left... Oh, good, we start with number one. So, this is what I wanted to do. So, and I'll keep going back until I do all four, record all four of them. So, alright, so, let's see here. Okay, number one seems to be interesting. So, oh... No, uh oh. I think I might have chosen the hard one. And it's looking like light dead. Alright, come on, get up here. Alright. Yeah, it's looking like I kind of chose the hard one. Yeah, but each of these has is easier than others. Um, they range of various difficulty. So. Yeah, see, you have to kind of time your jumps right with these. Alright, um, yeah. Why does number one have to be hard? I'm so glad I have this. I'm hasty. Alright. Ah, baby, get back here. Alright. Yeah, you have to do this. I mean, it's just stupid. But if you want your eggs, you have to do this their way. Alright. Let's see if I still give me some... Alright. Block breaker. I think we're gonna... I think we'll just skip the eggs and just head on out of here. Alright, so let's run. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up here. Flower. There's some more coins up here, it looks like. Ah! Damn it! Yeah, this thing in the middle of his driving me nuts. Alright, so. At this. At any given point in the game, you'll have 15 coins, and you'll have 4 flowers. At any t given point. Uh, in the game, so or whenever you finished it, you know each of these stages. So here we go. Um, I am gonna go ahead and reload the save state. So this is basically your basic starting point right here. So let's go ahead. And load. All right. 
right, here we go. Number two. Number two. All right, Shy Guy is on stilts. Looks fairly interesting so far. Okay, we got the jungle people there. Looks like this is fairly easy. We've got seven and two flowers. Oh, how nice. We got this guy again. Alright, guy. All right. Oh, we got a freaking maze here. Alright. Just give me your eggs. Just give me your eggs. Thank you. I'm not talking I'm such a perv. Why did I say that? Give me your eggs. Alright, whatever. Let's just go. Now let's take us through a pipe. It looks like it'll do. Yeah, it looks like it did. Oh, boy. We're gonna do this. Alright, they only got two of them there. Alright, so I'll kind of speed run through this a little bit. Right. Watermelon, guys. I didn't know they could shoot watermelons before, but. Alright, let's just kind of go. I don't want to go through there. Thank you. You're very helpful. There's a bandit up there. And so, we have four coins. And we have all our flowers. So, let's back up and see what's up here. Seems pretty easy. Alright, I think that's our 15th one. Yep, alright, so we got 15 here. Now we just gotta finish this. Yep, so we just gotta finish this now. Alright. Um, I'm hesitant to think if that's the way out or... Hmm. Oh, it's this guy. How lovely. Alright, we gotta take care of this guy. Salvo is back. But you only got four, six eggs to actually deal with destructive flows to him. Now we're down to three. Ah, but we beat him. We got two left. Very good. Very good. So, this is our key. I think we need to get out of here. So if this is the way out, I just I guess I could just go ahead and tell you where we go. But we still got three and four to do. And I'll show you three and four. Cause I think this is just the exit. It heads to this area. Alright, so basically all the doors take you here, this area. I'm gonna load go, go backwards and I'll see it door number three. That's what I wanted in the first place. Now, I've heard this is probably... One and three are probably your worst ones to get. You're gonna know why in just a minute. Run away. Hurry. Okay. You're gonna see why in just a moment. You're giving this guy because you have to run away from this guy. And I think you're giving different music in the S Super Nintendo version, uh, kind of like the boss music. But, you know, just kind of stay with it. And if he approaches you, just kind of, you know, tip him back. That's all you gotta do. And use these three flint, furnish your eggs. And if you can knock him into the pit, he'll be gone forever, but, you know, there's no, of course, no guarantee of anything. Go away. Getting too close. And this life is not going to matter, except the ones I'll get in the, get your egg. Let's check our 
stats. We only have nine coins, and you're not allowed to use your items in this area. I see. I see, because you're not even allowed to use your ear. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was, you know, that happened. Here he comes now. He's coming. I mean, not surprised. He's still on his, he's still coming after you. Just kind of be wary. He's after you. Use your eggs, but they're not giving me another chance to refurbish on my eggs. Which is sad. Thank you. He's still coming, is he? Yep, yeah, he's still coming. He's not. No, oh, God, he didn't know he could jump like that. Shit. I didn't know he could jump like that. Holy shit balls. I'm sorry guys. I thought he couldn't do that. Oh, go away. Just run. <laughs> just go. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. That was just unexpected. But. And you should have 15. There you go. So there's your 15. So. One more door to do, and we'll be able to finish this. So let's go ahead, and I'll see you guys back at the entrance. All right, we're back here again. Now we're going to see if we can get number four, and we did. The only thing I had to do more than one time was probably number two, but we are here, number four. This is the easiest one, so easier than probably all of them. You still got Gusty, but there is no enemies. Uh, other enemies. You can see, you, you can say to quote what Gusty tastes like. Well, there you go. You can feast on him all you want. But you can just kind of like go through here. Take your time. I mean, there's no time limit, of course, but. But if I don't get 100 points, I'll kind of like document. I have the. Uh, documentation that I got 100 points in the um, um, my initial run so just so you know that uh -huh. come on all right come on all right so we got all of oh, Dusty's gone all right good so we got a couple lives out of this 309 so that's probably well, probably a little bit more oh one ups Three lives. So if you're ever short on lives, you definitely want to get four. So we got three eleven. I think that's probably the max we'll get. So I think this will. Now we can go back to where we the next leg of the journey. So no, without further complications, we'll do this. Let's do it. And if you die at any point, you have to start over at um that. Um, one area, so, and Kamek tries to play with you just a little bit, but, you know, you know, he's trying to ruin you, that's what he's trying to do, that, dude, I am not going to play your game, I'll keep you at bay if I have to. Throw your eggs to stop them too. The Mario recommendation is don't throw any because you'll. Well, actually, the eggs are not at this juncture. Your eggs probably won't matter too much for the fact that um, you're not going to need them anymore. Ah, damn you, bastard! Well, I still have the option of. Turn at you. Alright. Alright, another star point. Thank you. You're only making this worse for yourself, man. Alright. Alright, we got our one up. We have everything we need. Whoa. 
Where am I? Where did I go? I might have fallen in that pit and I didn't even realize it, but whatever. Alright, I'll see you guys back there. holes in the floors, that's where he's at his worst. Taking my concentration right now, having this death. Run! no point, but I'll try to 100% it. If I don't get it, then... And this is the end of the line, guys. End of the line. I'm gonna turn it back. I'll discuss a few things about the game in the later end. Heavens to Murgatroyd, welcome, Yoshi! If you be so kind, please hammer over the baby even. <laughs> uh oh, you pissed off baby Bowser. Oh dear, what to do, young Bowser, when Master Bowser awakes? Damn it, it's too noisy in here. I want to go sweepy by. Sweepy by. Alright, so I had no voice for baby Bowser. I just had no voice. Hmm, what? Hmm. What kind of green donkey is that? Looks like fun, me wanna ride! Mine, mine, mine! Alright, so basically... Basically, you're supposed to return... The, um... Yeah, you have to return the shockwaves to him. That way... I got another one. One more hit should suffice, I think. Alright. Here we go. Heavens to Murgatroyd, Yoshi! How could you do this, young master? Let me help you there. Let me help you here, even. Okay, here we go. This one gives me nightmares sometimes. But this is the ultimate one. This gave me so much trouble as a kid. But this is it. Final showdown. Alright, watch the arrows. Make sure he isn't... Make sure he isn't giving you crap. Alright, find the egg. got to be on target. I mean, you have to be on target. If he gets close, he'll destroy the castle. Oh, crap. He's 
gonna throw three of them at you. There's that one. You have to throw them far. I mean, without a doubt. And every time you hit him, he runs closer. And can't throw him too high. Too low. And he starts to freak me out. Ah, damn it. Well, there goes the third 100%. That's the least of my concerns at this point. Alright. Threw him back, but he's gonna run forward. Just like that. Alright, give me another egg. Uh, I think it's a total of six hits. Alright. Uh, for a, a Super Nintendo game and a Game Boy Advance. This is a pretty awesome game. Uh, too far. Yeah, you're getting too close, buddy. You get closer like that, I might keep hitting you. More hits you do it. He's gonna run very fast towards you. So be sure. Point blank. Oh Christ. I would have had him too. So no Kamek. I still, I kind of even need to use my tens if I'm on a perfect score. I think in the SNS version, they start you with baby, a baby Bowser scene, so you might have to see this again. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna start. Yeah, we're. Me want to ride. Yeah, I think in the Super Nintendo, they didn't give you a choice. If you messed it up, say you're right, right, at that Bowser area, um, you would have been totally out of luck in getting the 100. But they give you a choice here. They give you a last chance to use your, you know, star points. You know, star, you know, uh, collections that they have, but... Enough with the pretense, let's just get this going. We've had enough pretense already. And there's that moon where we fought um, Raphael the Raven. Enough with the pretense. Let's get this started. I think we're safe here. Fine. Let's find the freaking eggs. Start shooting them. I think on the last egg, um, uh, that's probably too far. It's gonna run up a little bit. He gets too close, so you're, you're you're pretty much done. I mean, all right, let's throw it again. That give him a chance to run up. All right. All right. Oh, 
that I barely hit him. I'm gonna start his other antics now. I hit him while he was just doing that. Alright, uh, now I don't have much to work with. Come on, egg. Yeah, you don't have a lot of room to work with. You're getting too close, buddy. He's going to run up. Don't have much time. Oh, he's done! Oh, yeah, I think that would have been it if I didn't get him there. Point blank range. All right. We did it. This time, 100 points. But, uh, my controls are gone. How heaven is the Mercatroid! How dare you! It's not fair! You're such a big meanie, even! Oh gosh. Someday we'll be back! You'll see! And that's where I'll get a little bit of a discussion, but let's go ahead and just continue on. We'll talk more about it later. Well, whenever the credits are going. Finally reunited. So happy. <laughs> Thus, due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the brothers are reunited. Yoshi frees the captured stork, who sets about his duty and finally makes the long-awaited delivery. Thanks, Yoshi. The brothers will meet their parents soon. Now, in the bottom... Uh, corner or in the bottom corner opposite from where I'm at right here um, I will show you the hundred point well basically no, no need because I got 100 points here so I kept all my star points no need for hurrah but we got our hundred points despite that and world six all now legitimately 1,000 points so well And they're not going to show the ending. Oh, they are. Okay, good. I was about to say, oh my god, if they didn't show the ending, I would have been pissed. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. But, now, they say this is probably the beginnings of Mario. There's unofficial, um, of writing about this, where... The original hero of the Mushroom Kingdom lived in here, and the Mario Brothers were actually born in the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, there's a comic out there that's done by Nintendo Drawer. I kind of will I definitely will definitely um, um, link you to it. Tells you about the story of the origin, origin, original Mario Brothers. Um, basically, um, Mario's mother and father originated in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, when they, when Mario and Luigi were born, as they said right there, um, the Koopa clan kept attacking the Mushroom Kingdom over the sole purpose of Mario and Luigi. So, whenever we, um, hear the stories about the Super Mario Brothers originating in the real world, like in, they were born in Italy, not necessarily the case. Because they were born here, but they were raised in Italy. They were born, of course, went to America in Brooklyn. And that's how we know the Super Mario Brothers through the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Um, of course, um, Super Mario Brothers 3, the adventure of Super Mario Brothers 3, of course, Super Mario World, that the Mario Brothers originated in the where origins were in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, 
so basically, so basically, you know, the, you know, Mario and Luigi were born here in the Mushroom Kingdom. This kind of tells you a little bit how they got to the air, but at first there was seeing no connection. But it does make sense that um, Marco, who is Mario's father, who is the original hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, um, went to um, the real world to protect their children. So, who knows what happened with that, but... I think this is a very good ending to end the LP. I think this is very touching. Looks like they have reached the land where mom and dad live. I really had fun with this Let's Play. It was, it was, I'm glad I'm R and too, and Aerosol, you know, we're here. But I'll finish that thought in a little bit. Mushroom House. more of a somber note, um, and I, I don't want to sound like I'm teary-eyed. I always get teary-eyed whenever I do this LP, or this game. This is a very well-designed game. It, it told, a, it had a lot of story, basically gameplay, a lot of, um, uh, platforming. I think there's a little times I went off on a tangent in some of my commentary. But, um, yeah, I kind of get teary eyed as I think, but this game always brought back a lot of childhood memories. I mean, Mario and Luigi had a happy childhood, and I wish I could have said the same thing for me. I've always had a rough time, rough go, but you know, this game kind of reminds me of me when I was a kid. How carefree and happy things are and now I'm an adult and you see what you see here as an adult and you know was struggling you know get by every day yet um I'm actually happy I did this LP instead of Wind Waker for this reason I've had a lot of growing up to do even today you know doing these LPs and I'm glad I became a Let's Player for this reason, is that I, a part of me wants to still grow up. I'm still having trouble growing up, even though I'm near 30 years old. And, I mean, we're... You, one thing you don't want to do in life, and I kind of slowly learning this, is never growing old. Because if you grow old, you know... I mean, yes, we all grow old, but... At some point, we're going to have to keep part of ourselves if we're going to survive. Keep some sort of childhood. So, if we do totally succeed as an individual, we have to leave it. You know, do better for our younger generation. I and mean, that's why you hear me go off on some sort of rantings sometimes, is I care about our younger generation so much. It's not even funny. And... I am going to not get any younger, but, you know, we still got to build a, a future for all of us, even our young, and as well for the elderly, people like me who are in between right now, but I do this Let's Play because I think, you know, there's still some regret, and some things I don't understand about, you know, the people who tried to influence me in a childhood. But at the same time, you know, with the friends I've made today with Mara and 
um, Proligant and Bandnerd, Bandnerd, three to one. I keep pronouncing his name wrong and stuff like that. And all the people who I've known during the one year and I've actually done a let's play, done let's plays, is that I'm still trying to connect to people. I'm still struggling. You don't know how many, how much time I'm, how much trouble I'm still struggling. Well, you say, oh, Paladin, you gotta get over it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cheap, not only selfish way of talking. Because a lot of the things is not that easy. Life is never that easy. But I think I had enough rambling for going on for this let's play. My nose itches again. My nose likes to itch when I'm on camera. But thank you for watching let's play number eight, Yoshi's Island. I had a very good run. Um, 280 lives. You know. I probably could have done better, but, you know, it was still one hell of a run. I really enjoyed Imar 92's company. I really appreciate John Johnson LP uh, for still inspiring me to do Let's Plays. So he kind of, I think, helped me the way he is with his Let's Plays. He kind of set the tone for me. I really appreciate it. And um, also Aerosol LP for, and also Mara again for... Um, co-commentating, and I'd like to congratulate Aerosol LP for making it through without having too many headaches through his rages <laughs> for his Let's Play and through mine, but I did this camera because I wanted to let you see who I am, and let, I'll let you guys be the judge, but you know, you... You're the ones who are setting the bar and how you judge me and judging these let's plays and you know, we all have our different standards, so but I have done talking. I'll let the credits roll, my credits roll, the ones I make. And until we start Wind Waker and oh beside um, before I forget, Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a happy two thousand and fourteen. It's coming in by the time this LP is finished, it's already December 5th. December 5th. It'll probably be closer to Christmas before this is done. But until 2014, guys, this has been Captain Pal and LP. I will see you guys next LP with Wind Maker. See you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.